welcome back to the channel and if you're new here my name is Kila and welcome to the channel so today is going to be a really quick video about the three ways you can gain rank before going to boot camp and the highest rank you can be advanced to is e3 so let's get into it took some notes so the first way is junior ROTC so for the ones that have completed two years of ROTC, you will be advanced to E2. If you have completed three years of ROTC, you will be advanced to E3. So for the ones that are still in high school, trying to figure it out, or if you're really thinking about joining the military, you should really take ROTC because it's really gonna help you guys out, especially in the long run. And for the ones that have already graduated, you just need your documentation. So you just need your high school transcripts. So number two college credits. So in order to be advanced to E2, you need to have completed 24 semester hours or 36 quarter credit hours at an accredited educational institution, or have completed 1,800 classroom hours at an accredited vocational institute. To be advanced to E3, you need to have completed 48 or more semester hours or 72 or more quarter credit hours at an accredited educational institution or have completed 2,160 hours at an accredited vocational institute. Now, number three, referrals and special rates. So, referrals are basically when you refer someone to join the branch you're joining, they come in underneath you. And once they make it through the process and swear in, it then counts towards helping you get well helping you rank up so if you were an e1 and you prefer one person you would then receive a letter of appreciation if you were an e1 and you prefer two people you will be advanced to e2 if you were an e1 and you prefer four people you will be advanced to e3 if you were e1 and you prefer one officer a session you will be advanced to e2 if you were E1 and you prefer two officer sessions, you will be advanced to E3. Now here's where the special rates come into play. So the special rates are the nuclear field, Navy special operations, and Navy special warfare. So if you were E1 and you prefer one person in one of those three fields, you will be advanced to E2. If you were E1 and you prefer two people in, in one of those three, well, two people and they both had jobs in those special fields, you will be advanced to E3. So those are the three ways you can gain rank, well, be advanced before going to boot camp. So junior ROTC, college credits, and referrals. So I really recommend the ones still in high school are really thinking about joining to take ROTC because it's really going to help you guys. So I really recommend that. So that's it for today's video and I hope this video was able to help someone. So don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.